Is Darcy a Byronic hero? Personally, I've always found him to be misunderstood. The arrogant and remote Darcy whose inner conflict stops him from ever being happy. Why do you think that is? Mm -hmm. What happened to Officer Dibble? Hmm. Night shift, unfortunately. Does that mean you're free this evening? If I answer, will I regret it? I have been invited to a meal. Ooh. So? It's going to be hideous, and I would like to invite you as my plus one. Hang on, the last time you invited me to dinner, you had ulterior motives. For which I sincerely apologise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to ask my mother. <laughs> it's telling that there is no one else I can ask. Please. Do you think it was bad manners mind sweeping the table? Ah, be uncouth. To let a fine two hundred and forty pound barola go to waste. <laughs> I mean, technically, technically, we robbed them. My client's the thief. And lunch was the thank you for getting him off. Now I'm the best at that kind of thing. <laughs> Back to mine. You know I'm happily seeing someone, right? Come on. Uniform and you're like brother and brother. There's a certain irony in the name PC George Kiss. So we haven't kissed yet. Hey, what's wrong with taking our time? Both agreed to that, have you? Well, we... George! Hey! What are you doing? I thought you were meeting your old 40 mate Andy. What have you two been up to? Oh, I, I got roped into a last-minute legal business thing at lunch. So last minute that you had time to change? Yeah, it was a long, boozy affair. It really wasn't. I was just doing him a favour. What's up, chop? The beat won't plot itself. Look, James is just a mate, OK? Like, like Andy. Andy's not an ex. Yeah, and he's not a mate. Well, not a good one, anyway. So then why did you let him rope you into whatever wherever you've been. John Paul is a grown man who was just hanging out with an ex. And you can't handle that because we have so much history. A lot of it intensely sexual. <laughs> well, you've been drinking alcohol in a public space. <laughs> Prove it. OK, guys, can we just stop this now, please? And no littering. <laughs> you two are both facing trouble here. Oh, what are you going to do about it? You basic jumped up constable who's never going to make sergeant because you're full of empty threats. Loving the sound of your own voice, pathetically, when you really have no legal power over two old flames who enjoy each other's company, eh? You think you can arrest us for that? You are facing legal action for wrongful arrest. I was merely transporting the alcohol. You did not witness me consuming it. Save it for the CPS. We've all had a joke now. I have a right to a phone call. He needs to sober up and cool off before any privileges. Public order S4A and man. Does he have it in for the police? Don't touch me! This is democracy manifest! I see you know your world. There is nothing going on between James and I. Why do you think nothing's happened between me and you yet? Not even a kiss. I need to be sure that I am not your plan B. What? I just thought that you were old-fashioned. Principled. With a capital P. OK. You've had a joke, right? And you don't like James. But this go, is... Go on a dinner date to decide if you still have feelings for Nightingale. Thrash it out in a cell and make your choice once and for all. What? It's him or me. You're expecting to see Andy? I've been catfished. That was the only way to get you to see me. Oh, Dean. Deanie, baby. You know, there's a reason I haven't answered any of your calls. You don't get to ghost me after everything you've put me through. I'm in therapy, on medication. <laughs> and how's that working out for you? I just want to hear you say sorry. I've moved on. I'm in a relationship. You just weren't enough. You stripped everything away from my life until it was just you and me left. George, in spite of that, because of that, you're always in my head. I don't know why I still love you, but I do. There's still a chance for us, isn't there? Bit confused. Did you come here to have a go and get back with me? Because if it's the latter, here's your sorry. It was fun at the time. Countdown conundrum. George is bringing you around a bad sausage. Delicious. James, he's cooking you up something hot and impressive. They both need an answer. What's it going to be? Why aren't you in George's corner? Uh, uh, this is not my decision to make. Or at least shouting at me over James. 
I have done some terrible things that still keep me awake at night. The guilt, the shame. Silver, my poor, innocent gorilla gave me a second chance and I slung him back in prison. The, what I'm saying is you can forgive James, right? It's simple. You either get over what he did and you love him or you have some fun getting to really know George. So the easy, straightforward, safe option or the one that's marked enter at your own risk? You make the call. Already have. I uh, thought a little celebration was in order after today's crimes and misdemeanors. Hey, cowboy? So, are you ready for this then? I love you. Lord of Darkness. <laughs> But I'm choosing the light. Why don't you bubble your butt back to mine? Well, and finally kiss Officer Kiss. <laughs> is going to be a threat to our relationship again. I'll make sure of it.